Hi crafters, welcome back to another segment of KISS, Keep It Simple Sylvia. Now this is the first Friday in the month of October and normally I begin a new project every month. But we've had requests for to continue with the booklet making and I have lots I can teach so I just, I'm going to go with it. We're going to do another very simple paper bag booklet and I call this my never ending booklet. And what you need to do is we need to get two paper bags, that's all we need. And we're going to fold these in half and fold them so the flap is on the outside. So you're just going to fold the smooth part together, crease it, and fold it so the flap is on the outside. What I have is two paper bags now folded with the flaps on the outside. And I need to put them together this way, where the top flap opens up from right to left. The bottom bag has the flap looking at us, and it opens up from left to right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the two flappy parts together. And we're going to glue them. So I'm going to slip this flap, which is this one right here, Give it a little crease too, that really does help. I'm going to flip that inside here and I'm going to glue it down. Okay, so, and you need to use a pretty good adhesive for, for this. Your um, red tape would work pretty well. Tape runners, I don't know. I, I don't have much luck with them holding up over time. So I'm just going to use regular glue. And just glue this down real good. I'm going to make sure I get all my edges. I want those sealed real good because this is going to get some wear and tear. And just put the glue on here real good. You can use any of your favorite glues. If you have a tape runner, I mean, go ahead and use that. I mean, I've made them with tape runners. Okay, so now I put the flap. I butt it up against the other flap. And then I'm just going to press it down. Make sure my pages are even. My bags are even, I mean. Okay, and I'm just going to hold this till I get it sealed. Okay, now that we've got the booklet glued together, we need to put the pages in the right order. So this is the front page. I'm going to open that up. And I've got the two flaps sealed together, and I've got this back page here. Open that up and refold it back onto itself now. So what we have now is a, the front page. You open it up. You have a, the page that we brought from the back forward. You open it up. We have the flaps that we glued together. Close the book back up, flip it back over again, here's another flappy, close the book back up, flip it over again, and we're back to the front. How easy is that? Lots of surfaces to put all sorts of pictures on, embellish them any way that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to embellish this up with another Halloween and I think it'll be easier for you to see how the pages actually work together. Oh, and before I forget, we once again have some interactive items here because we have this part of the bag that's open so we can put a, a tag in there. We have, on this flap, we have the open. As soon as I get this uh, decorated up, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got it all um, decorated. I mean, not completely decorated, but I have the, the paper laid down. And this was our, our front. You open it up. This was our back flap from the back that we brought forward. Open that up. Here's one big long page, and you wouldn't have to decorate it this way. I just decorated it so you could see the continuity of it. 
but and all the different places that open and close on this you could obviously put different cardstock or different designer paper whatever you'd want to do but I just wanted to keep it this way because I thought it would be easier to show how big the page can be and the neat thing about these paper bags that I have is they're 12 inches so they're 6 by 12 I can use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I can get lots of cuts out of it. This is just the 12 by 12 cut in half, cut by six, you know, cut in half. So I have a six by 12. This is a six by six, so I can get four cuts out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, here comes one of our flaps. Isn't that cute? I love the colors. I love the greens and the purples for Halloween. I think they're really cool. Close that back down. Close this back up. Flip it over. Here's my back page. And then here's the flap open up the other way. And I've got, this is actually an 8 by 6 page here. And what I did to tell the difference between the back pages and the actual front and inside pages is I rounded the edges of the designer paper that I put down for the frontward part of the book. I rounded all the edges. And then on the back, I kept them square. I didn't round them off. Isn't this cute? This is your never-ending booklet. I just adore that. And you could tie it with pay, with ribbon. You, I got some cute little ribbon here. I just love that. Isn't that cute? Little pumpkin ribbon. Tie this together with some pumpkin ribbon. Make a clasp out of it. The simple way to make a clasp is just kind of fold your ribbon over and all I do is just kind of staple it and then you can do a simple little loop like that. I'll show you. It is a simple way to make a clasp on a booklet. I did that on the, the booklet that we just completed for the month of September. That's how I, I finish that off. And then the booklet is together. Isn't that cute? Simple way to do that. Oh, 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 forgot to tell you. Sorry about that. Don't forget, we have these little pockets in here. We can put pullouts. I'll get the other little booklet I made last month. See how I put that on and I just stapled that. And then it just goes into here like this. And hold it shut and then there's that chalkboard paint and because of the way the the paper bag is remember we can put multiples in here because of the way it folds so we got a nice tag that can go in there and the tag can go in here Okay, can go in here. And don't forget too, because of the way these things fold fold and fold out, you can, like I said, you can put something in here that would be on a tag that somebody could pull up and it could be a little interactive folding thing that comes in and out. And every page has got that. Just because of the way, here's the, the flaps that are, we glued the flaps together. So it gives us some little interactive areas again. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, it's like I can't stop playing with it. I love to do all the flips. If you want to, you know, that could be the front part of the book. You know, just any way that you want to fold it together. This is the way I've come up with it. Well, thank you for joining me on this segment of KISS. Keep it simple, Sylvia. Uh, I hope that you'll try this little book. It's a lot of fun. Be a really cute Christmas card. Can you imagine all the cute little interactive things? This could be your Christmas story. Simple little booklet like that. And then it's a, you know, it's a keepsake for, for years to come. 
Okay, crafters, thank you for joining me on this segment of KISS. Keep it simple, Sylvia, and I'll see you again back here next week when we do yet another booklet. Bye for now.